Hello everyone, this is Candidates Cards on the Table. Today we're going to be discussing foreign affairs. First up is Juliana. Hello, the first candidate says that the crisis in Venezuela is a humanitarian crisis and wants a multilateral agreement to guarantee the rights of Venezuelan people. And he proposes, firstly, uh, speeding border control processes, establishing Migración Colombia offices all up in the border in the most affected areas. Carrying out a sense of Venezuelan immigrants for a more effective plan on behalf of the state. And the second is ending cross-border smuggling by making custom control stronger and modernizing the aduana. Third is reducing unemployment to single digits in Cúcuta. Incentives for investment in the north of Santander for projects like Colombia's biggest oil extraction plant in Catatumbo. One good point is that this is one of the most solid proposals about Venezuela and also includes multilateral agreements. But one bad point is that we are not focusing in other aspects of our foreign affairs. Hello everyone. Our second candidate proposed first a multilateral agreement to make sure Colombia is not the only responsible for the migrants uh, that come from Venezuela. Second, redirecting the money assigned to the United Nations to supervise the peace agreement as humanitarian aid in the most affected border areas in order to provide basic health care for the most vulnerable. And third, defending the state's integrity in international rulings and not recognizing rulings which modify uh, the Colombian territory. A uh, good thing is that a, a multilateral approach to Venezuelan crisis is necessary for the country and a bad thing is that there is no focus in international relations in the campaign of the candidate. There is only mentions to Venezuela uh, and international rulings, but no more. Hi everyone, the third candidate uh, proposes a positive alignment of the country in the international system, especially in topics such as environmental protection and the fight against drugs. In the second place, uh, respect for diplomacy. Third, a defense for Colombian sovereignty in international legal issues. And lastly, support for peaceful solutions for international issues, referenced here mainly in relation to Venezuela. Now, a good thing about these proposals is that respect for diplomacy is needed to solidify Colombia's representation in the world. A bad thing, however, is that the proposal are quite vague and lack analysis and substance. Hi everyone, the four candidate proposes an international policy focused on multilateral goals and varied international relationships, especially in Latin America and the Caribbean. Emphasis on regional and south-south exchanges of knowledge and human, linguistic, artistic, cultural and environmental skills. Primary focus on overcoming structural inequalities in regions like the Pacific, Amazonas, Orinoco and the Caribbean by exploring their natural links with South America, Central America, the Caribbean and Asia. International cooperation mainly focused on facing the danger of climate change and the development of peace in Colombia. Defending the national and territorial interests of Colombia by having a stronger state policy. A good thing is the emphasis on South-South co South -South cooperation, which is needed to solidify the, our international policy. And a bad thing is that the proposal is some, somehow errat erratic and it does not present concrete plans. Hi everyone, this candidate wants Colombia to be a regional power by, in the first place, strengthening the military presence in places bordering Venezuela, to reduce cross-border crime and control of flow of migrants. In the second place, establishing bilateral and regional treaties in order to define frontier lines and have a state presence in these areas. Third, increasing the number of the diplomatic career ambassadors and consuls from 20 to 50 percent. Strengthening the defense of the state in international legal matters and strengthening commercial ties with Latin America, Africa and Asia and review of eight of the 14 active free trade agreements. A good thing about these proposals is that they are serious and well thought out and really this is the only candidate who has developed a foreign policy. 
but a bad thing is that the border policy is nothing new and there is no commitment to ending the practice of political appointments in foreign service. All right, thank you, Claudia. All that's left to do now is to reveal the identities of the candidates. So the first candidate was Humberto de la Calle. Okay, our second candidate is Ivan Duque. So uh, the third candidate is Sergio Fajardo. Our fourth candidate is Gustavo Petro. The fifth candidate is Germán Vargas Lleras. Thank <laughs> you.